Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Brixie and today I just wanted to make a visual run through of the Temple of Ugalep. And this is good for Zillar mission number four, I think it is, as well as the BCNM Amphibian Assault. Both of those require you to get all the way down to the Den of Rancor and through the final gate. So today I just wanted to make a visual guide on how to do that. So to start off, you want to enter on J12 of Yoder Jungle. This will take you to Temple of Ugalep. And if you happen to have the outpost for Yoder Jungle, it's not far away from the outpost. Otherwise, I would recommend getting a teleport Yoder from a white mage. And the teleport's not far away from the entrance either, so either one of those options I would definitely recommend. Once we're inside, go ahead and throw up an invisible. You do not need sneak for this level. And first, in order to actually reach the Den of Rancor, we're going to need a paintbrush. So if you do not have a paintbrush already, once you're inside here, I would kill Tomberry Cutters, and specifically only Tomberry Cutters, because they drop an item called Ugalep Key, and that's the key we need in order to get the paintbrush. And in order to save time, I'm not going to bother killing Tomberry Cutters, because I already have the paintbrush item myself. Since we do have the run to the door though, I will go ahead and show you the locations of which they pop. And I think there's like six along the way. There's two in this room. Uh, we're going to take a right turn here and go north. At the end of the north hall, there's also a cutter pop. And there's also one more cutter pop once we get inside the big room in front of the door. So I think there's a total of either five or six cutters. And they're a little difficult to pull. So be careful when you pull. They do all link by sight. So if you can get a pull where it's clean and they're not looking at each other, definitely pull. Otherwise, I would hold off. And Tomberries also have some pretty nasty moves. They have Throat Stab, which is like 90 or 95% total damage to you. Uh, that alone can get you killed. They also have a move called Everyone's Grudge. The more Tomberries you kill, the more damage it deals. So that's a one shot if you have way too many kills. But here's the door. Once you get your key traded to the door, you get a quick little cutscene. And you'll go through the door. There's a whole lot of question marks behind it. Uh, click them and make sure you get the paintbrush item before you leave, otherwise you have to get another key. Once you have your paintbrush, you pretty much have all you need in order to get to Den of Rancor. So we're going to exit to Yoder Jungle. Make sure you follow the left wall here all the way to the exit. And you can see as we turn the corner here, there's a gate. Go ahead and go through that gate. Follow it all the way to the top. That'll take you to Yoder Jungle. Now that we're back in Yoder Jungle, we're going to use this to enter a different part of the Temple of Ugalep. This will put us on the map that we can use to enter Den of Rancor. And to do that, simply exit north here, and then take the immediate left to enter back into Temple of Ugalep. And for those of you that are playing Summoner, you can actually use the choppers outside here to get a prelay key that can be used to get your carbuncle mitts. A pretty good item. Would highly recommend grabbing that if you want to play Summoner. Once you're back in the temple, go ahead and put up Sneak and Invisible. There is a gate directly ahead of where we're going, however there's monsters that aggro sight, so we're basically putting up invisible so we can get past them, and then we can click the gate. So both the wesp and the tomberries both aggro sight here, and immediately on the left here, once we take the turn, you will see the gate, and stand near the gate, and wait until you have like a good point where you can drop invisible to click it, and once you do, drop click it and put up invisible as soon as you can. You can also see there's a Tomberry near us on the other side as well, so watch out for that. There's like three monsters in total you need to watch out for in order to open this gate, so it can be slightly annoying to open. To make it a little bit easier to open, you can also aggro them on purpose and zone them. That will cause them to despawn, then you can just come back and open the gate and put up invisible. So if you want to do that, that works as well. From here, we're just going to go all the way south until we hit the dead end here. And once we get to the end, we're going to take a left, and normally there is a closed door, and the only way to open that door is to kill the guardian in front of the door. However, when I was making this video, luckily, somebody had already killed the guardian, and I didn't have to worry about, like, killing it, so that saved a little bit of time as well. But right here, where the door is, typically would be closed, and there's a guardian that's like level 67, I think. So kill that, open the door, and we're going to take the north exit here in between the two sets of stairs and follow this all the way to the end. There's going to be another door, and before opening this door, I would make sure to have some sort of, like, something because 
up ahead we're going to use the paintbrush of souls and it requires waiting like 30 plus seconds and there's a bunch of tomberries inside so i'm on summoner i'm going to use rama and i'm just going to let rama hold everything that way i can click on the painting and use the paintbrush and again just to make sure people understand this you have to wait 30 seconds before you hit enter otherwise it will not work it will not open the door for you so make sure you wait the 30 seconds before you hit enter also make sure if you're using the add-on eternity make sure to turn that off for this because it will auto enter for you and that will basically block you from ever getting through the door so definitely unload it then once you feel like it's been 30 seconds go ahead and click it and it should say you succeeded you can go ahead and go through the door and this will let you into the den of Franker. so good job the hard part's mostly done now that we're inside the den of Ranker, uh keep track of this hole right here where the dire bat's at we're actually going to be coming back to that and dropping down but for now take the immediate right here go west we're also going to need an unlit lantern so preferably you would want to have four people doing this with you and all four people having lanterns and the lanterns drop from Tomberries. So you can get them in the temple or you can get them down here in Ten of Ranker. So make sure you farm up one of those. And we're going to head up here to another lantern that is already lit. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to trade our unlit lantern to the lantern. And then that will light our lantern. So once you do that, be careful here because the Bifrons, they aggro sight. They also aggro magic. So it makes it a little tricky in order to trade your item. For the sake of time, again, I'm not going to trade an item. But basically you trade it to the altar, you get a new item, and then we're going to go back to the hole I mentioned earlier, and we're going to drop down to the bottom floor. And I like doing this method because uh, when you drop down, this puts you right in front of the, the gate. That way you can quickly trade your flame, ignite the flame, you have to do this a total four times. So hopefully you have four people with you and you can just do it all in one like felt swoop. But if not, you'll have to come back up here and get lights again and then drop back down. So here's the entrance. This is where we entered from. The immediate right is where the hole is. This is the hole we're going to drop down. And once you drop down, take the immediate right again. And this is right in front of the gate. So from here, we're just going to follow the tunnel all the way north. And there's a lot of monsters down here. So this part's very tricky. There are a lot of bats. There's a lot of tomberries. It's not a fun time. So I would definitely recommend doing this with a party, especially if you're doing Zillart, you're going to have to be in a party anyways for those fights. But yeah, there's four lanterns here, and you're going to trade your item you got from up top. That will take your light away, and it will light up one of these lanterns. Once that's done, you will do that a total four times. The gate will then pop open, and you can go through. For whatever reason, if your group does not have a total of four lanterns, or somebody has to make two trips, or whatever the case is, I will quickly show you how to get back up top as well. So from here, we're just going to go east, back up the tunnel that we fell on top of, and then we're going to take the immediate left and follow that left wall all the way up, back up to the top. That will put you back on the first map, and that will put you near also where you get the item. I've already showed you that, so I'm not going to show you again. Basically, just take your unlit lantern, train the lantern again, get another flame, drop down below, and repeat that until you get all four lit. Then you can go through the gate, everything's all hunky-dory, you can do your Zillar, you can do your Amphibian Assault, you know, whatever the case may be. So the tunnel's here, follow this all the way up, this will put you back on map 1, and there you go! That's how you get through Den of Franker. If this video helped you out, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff as per usual. And hey, we got our Juno Christmas music back, so yeah, leave a like for that. I love the music for Christmas time. I don't know why they brought it back, I don't know if they forgot to change it after the last update, or whatever, but yeah, I enjoy the music. Uh, thank you guys for watching, I'll catch you guys next video, have a good day, bye!